it is so deep seated in our culture to be colonialists, to really feel this entitlement that, well, we should send a private space company like SpaceX and set up a settlement on Mars. When I personally feel like that would end in disaster on, m on many different reasons, they would, people would die, but then you're introducing a whole host of other ethical issues. Like if you go with this private space flight, someone controls your air, someone controls your access to water, someone controls your access to food, then you're really in trouble. Now you're looking at forced labor and a whole host of ethical problems. I think we really have to pause and think about where that sense of should comes from. So I, I hear you. Um, I, I would I would sort of counter the fact that you know you clearly have objections to human history, but the whole of human history is sort of the outward expansion of humans. You know, with all of our messy problems, you know, out of Africa into Europe, and you know, doing damage to ecosystems, and there was the whole Neanderthal battle, um, and then obviously the problems with colonization of the Americas. Um, that is all part of human history, and, I, and I'd like to think that, that maybe we've learned a little bit from that. Um, but the reality is that there are not sentient life forms on Mars. Um, there's probably not even microbes below the surface. We don't know that for sure. Certainly, the rovers are looking for them. Um, can, can I interrupt and actually just share that quote, that famous quote from Carl Sagan, where he says, if we do, in fact, find microbes on Mars, then Mars belongs to the microbes. Well, that's fine. And I have a great respect for Carl Sagan. Had the pleasure and honor to meet him at one point. But, you know, I, I think reasonable people could disagree about that. Um, you know, d d did Antarctica belong to the microbes before people went there? I mean, it's just, I think that's, we have a fundamental disagreement here. I don't think we're going to change each other's minds, but I don't think that we should not visit other worlds with, as people because there's the possibility of, of, of micro, microbial life there. 